there's two ways or two things that we we we, we that be that pose as a threat if we were to have a specific goal as it relates to poverty reduction and and this is where people would most likely either either disagree or not understand if in fact we had a goal, let's just say to reduce poverty by 10% in two years, and we were specifically focused on just the goal. We would do every single thing to make sure that at least 10%, uh, we see the 10% improvement, and we would focus on interventions that are short term. Mm -hmm. Um, so we would be able to meet the goal. We would say, okay, we help these number of people um, move out of poverty we met the 10 percent benchmark everyone would celebrate but who's to say five years later the 10 percent that we actually moved out, or the 10 percent decrease or the number of families that we moved out of poverty what stopped 50,000 families or 50,000 individuals from entering poverty so it creates a condition in which we're not looking at everything holistically because we're looking at one, one segment of the population and not looking at everyone who's not necessarily self-sufficient and they're no longer part of the strategy because we're all just rallying around people who are specifically in poverty today and what we could do to move them out versus the overarching strategy or the long-term um, opportunity we have to kind of create um, or to disrupt the conditions that create poverty.